Hello, Classics. Hope that you are doing well at home. And uh, hope you are enjoying your holiday at home. Knowing that, uh, hoping that uh, you are taking care of yourself because of the dangerous, uh, this is the so called the COVID 19 or the corona virus. I have missed you a lot. The hope that uh, you have also missed JK so much. We as Mwalimu Anna in the primary school because we love you. We love you. They want you to perform well, to do well, to proceed with your studies. We have decided to bring this uh, to proceed with our program as usual. Therefore, we are teaching you through online. Hope that you lose your parents' phones and the computers to learn uh, from your teachers. Now, in English today, we are on active and passive voice. We are on active and passive voice. Remind you something before here, we learn about question tags. About question tags. That is, when you have a positive statement, it takes a negative question tag. And you have a negative, it takes positive. So it is vice versa. When you have the left hand, it takes the right hand, the right hand, then the left hand. So today we are on active and passive voice. When talking about active voice, this is the normal voice. It is the normal voice. And this is when the subject performs the verb of a sentence. In active voice, you say that it is when the subject performs the verb of a sentence. Reminding you something here, talking about subject. Here, I don't mean, or we don't talk about English, Kiswahili, or mathematics. We mean the doer of the subject. And the object, the object, the verb, the verb that is doing. Remind you something that in a sentence, a complete sentence has gotten subject, verb, and then sometimes it's a object but in most cases a complete sentence has a subject and a verb the subject the verb we call them predicates predicates is simply are the verbs uh, in a complete sentence so in, uh, let's say passive voice in passive voice is when the object when the object acts upon the verb of a sentence Remind you that uh, I told you that a complete sentence uh, has got a subject and a verb. For example, the, we can say, Jane is crying. Jane is crying. Not that Jane is a subject. What is Jane doing is a verb. Jane is crying. She is cooking. He is sleeping. That is a complete sentence. A sentence has a subject and a, a verb. The verbs you simply call them predicates. Why? Verbs are divided into two parts. The categories of verbs, we have uh, the regular verbs and the irregular verbs. So, passive voice is when the object acts upon the verb or sentence. From here, let's check the structure. Here we've got to have a structure of active and passive voice. In, on talking about active voice, we have the subject, verb, object, and the complement. This complement, in most cases, call them the adverbial verbs. Adverbial verbs. And then, in the passive voice, you have object, verb, subject, and a complement. But reminding you something here, when you look at this structure here, verbs and the complements retain their position. Means that we mean to say they are in their con they are constant so what keeps on var what keeps on changing here is subject object object subject you can see subject object object subject verbs constant complement constant so we say that say that is when the subject performs the verb of a sentence the doer of in their sentence they're called the subject for example justin is Teaching, Justin is the subject. So Justin is teaching pupils. Teaching is a verb. Now, pupil is an object to me. Therefore, let's check it. a sentence here. Cats eat fish daily. Here, cats. 
al subject it is a verb fish object because you can answer question what they eat they eat fish daily is our complement here we call it adverbial verb let's check in passive voice passive voice fish are eaten by cats daily when you check here verb verb constant a uh, complement complement do not change but subject change and the object next sentence frank kicked the ball yesterday frank kicked the ball frank is the subject verb kick is what frank did ball is the subject so what about the object 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 receives the action in this sentence the ball receives the action from frank frank kicked the ball the ball was kicked by frank yesterday the ball was kicked there the ball was kicked by frank yesterday means the ball received the action from here let's check in. rules to be applied when writing active and passive voice in active and passive voice there are some rules to guide you to guide you what to be done rule number one the object of the active sentence becomes the subject of the passive voice when you check from my structure from my structure the object of the active voice becomes the subject here we heard subject verb object then in passive voice now the object will become will be our subject now of the active voice of the of the passive voice the object of the active sentence becomes the subject of the passive voice from our structure i hope the structure also will guide you example active rita writes a letter rita writes a letter rita is the subject a letter is the object means the letter receives the action from rita then let's check the passive voice of that sentence a letter is written by rita now the letter here becomes our subject from the first rule the object of the passive voice becomes the subject of the passive voice rule number two the the finite form of the verb is changed to be plus past participle this to remind you something uh in active and passive voice to change from active voice into passive voice the main verb changes into past participle for example writes written they change into past participle that writes is a uh this is a main verb changes to written also is a main verb so they change from simple present tense into past participle for example rita cooks food rita cooks food food is cooked by rita so cooks this simple present tense but cooked this past participle tense past participle tense or uh, past tense let's check in uh, sentences sentences in active and passive voice sentences in active and passive voice rita writes a letter rita writes a letter a letter is written by rita from here you can see the main verb changes from simple present tense into past participle tense this is active voice this is in passive voice the blue color the blue sentence here the sentences here in blue are active voice but the ones that are in black color they are in passive voice 
She is cleaning the class. She is cleaning the class. We can say uh, uh, Fatuma is cleaning the class. You can say gladness is cleaning the class. Then the class is being cleaned by her. By her. This cleaning, it is in present continuous tense. Then it changes to past participle tense that is cleaned. The class is being cleaned by her. I have done my homework. I have done my homework. My homework has been done. My homework has been done. In this sentence, most of you will be confused that I have done my homework. Then you say, my homework has been done by me. No, we don't apply that element by me. This one will confuse yourself. My homework, already you possess that work. You possess that homework. So there is no need of you to say, my homework has been done by me. Because it is you you have done. So that's my homework. You possess that homework. So don't say, my homework has been done by me. We simply say, my homework has been done. Don't confuse yourself on that. The carpenter was making a box. The carpenter was making a box. This sentence, it is in past continuous tense. Or say, the past progressive tense. The carpenter was making a box. Maybe yesterday or the previous week. Then you say, a box was being made by a carpenter. A box was being made by a carpenter. Making, made. The, this is the past participle of the word make. Though here the sentence here, it is in continuous. Mm, making. Mm. This is continuous. Changes into past participle tense. You will bring money. You will bring money. You will bring money. Money will be brought by me. Money will be brought by me. Even Nigeria to say money. Nigerians they say money. They don't say money. But here in Tanzania we say money. Where is my money? But you say uh, Nigerians they say money. Money. Uh, now you can say the proper the proper pronunciation. You can say uh, money will be brought by uh, by you. You will bring money. This is simple future tense. Money will be brought by you. Check it. Bring. Broth. This bring the simple present tense. Broth. It is in uh, past participle or past tense. Return this book to him. Return this book to him. Let this book be returned to him. Let this book be returned to him. Uh, return. Simple present tense. Returned. Past participle or past Tense. Uh, in active and passive voice, I'm sure that I, I know that this, it complicates a lot when you come to questions. But to remind you something that when dealing with active and passive voice, the, first of all, all main verbs must change into past participle. No matter what it's been simple present tense, present continuous tense, Past tense or past continuous tense, which tense will be, but all main verbs must be changed into past participle tense. All in that is in passive voice, in passive voice. And uh, this one marks the end of our lesson. Hope that you have enjoyed and you'll keep on reading, reading while at home. Because we gave you enough books, your parents come and collect for you more books from our library. Hope that you read more books and also don't forget your books while at home. Don't say that Corona, Corona, remember Corona will go, then you'll be back at school. Back to school, then we'll proceed and, uh, with the, our studies as as usual remember education is the key to life education is the key without education you are nothing without education you are nothing so remember to take education remember to because you work with education you sleep with education you eat education so take care of yourself your brothers your young sisters young brothers and your parents while at home avoid the unnecessary movement within the street in the towns, 
because you can get or you can be contaminated with the corona, then you affect the entire family, the entire community. From here, I'll give out a number of questions. Make sure that you copy and do all the questions correctly. Hope you have enjoyed. I have missed you. You have missed me too. See you next time. I wish you all the best. Bye.